What's going on guys? Chris here with Technique Tuesday, and today we're going to be going over toes to bar, okay? So, on the toe to bar guys, it's important to make sure you hit solid arch position and pull through your lower abs and your hip flexors to bring your toe to the bar, okay? I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the toe to bar itself. What I'm going to spend a lot of time on today is if you can't get one, how, what drills can you do to get one, okay? So, um, one drill I really like to use is doing toes to rings, okay? The reason why I like this, and some people don't like how I say this, but the rings essentially kip for you guys, okay? So during this movement, you have a kip, you bring your feet up to touch the bar. I find with me, in contrast to maybe some other movements, like a muscle up, or maybe like a butterfly chest to bar pull up, where someone has the prerequisite strength, but maybe doesn't have the skill necessary to do the movement, with this movement itself, if you can't do it, a lot of it is a lack of strength, okay? So what I have people do is hop up to the rings. Now, the longer the straps, the easier this is gonna be. From here with active shoulder, shoulders, I pull my toes up to touch the rings, okay? So you see how the rings move? It makes it easier to do the movement as opposed to doing it statically on the bar, okay? Key with this, guys, is it should be strict, okay? So you're pulling your toes, as high as you can. If you can't touch the rings, get them as high as you can, okay? A lot of people make the mistake of jumping on the rings to do these and start kipping around, and now you're almost getting like double the movement and it doesn't transition well to the bar, okay? So start with the straps as long as you need. From there, you'll shorten the straps as far as you can go until the rings are essentially at the bar, okay? This, once the rings are at the bar, there's very little swing back and forth, so it mimics this more closely. Okay, so the longer the straps, the easier it is. The shorter the straps, the closer to the bar it's gonna be like, okay? So that's one drill I do. The other thing I like to do, come on over here to help build that lower abdominal and hip, fle and hip flexor strength to do toes to bar, is I'll set up a bench in an incline position, okay? A lot of gymnasts, guys, when they do this movement or something like this, it's strict because when they learn it as kids, they do it on what's called stall bars, okay? Where it's basically a wall of bars, so your back is flat up against it, you can't kip. So your lower abs and hip flexors have to get strong enough to pull it up. For a lot of us normal people that don't have a gymnastics background and get into CrossFit, we just start flailing around on the bar and hope that our toes get up there. So what I try to do with the move, uh, with this, is mimic that, those stall bars, okay? So my back is glued, my hands are on the bar, I pull through my lower abs, until my toes come up and touch the bar, okay? This isolates everything, I can't kip here, my back gets pressed down and I really have to pull through those, through those abdominals and those hip flexors to bring my toes up, okay? So if you're someone who can't do toes bar or string toes bar together well, give those two drills a try and see how they improve. 